In this bulletin, COVID cases recorded still above 200. Average daily test on upward trend. And villages remain on high alert. Good afternoon. Fiji has recorded 262 new cases in the 24-hour period ending at 8 yesterday morning. Permanent Secretary for Health Dr. James Fong says five cases are known contacts of cases from the Nawaka Labor Containment Zone that has been undergoing 14-day quarantine in quarantine facilities in Nandi. Three are contacts from within the existing Korovo cluster, while the remaining 254 cases are from the Lami Suvanosori Containment Zone. Dr. Fong says 113 cases are from existing areas of interest in this zone and 43 are from the following new areas of interest that include Jitu Estate and Viliohana Shipping, Milverton Road, Natongan Ravu, Waikete Village, Nauluvatu Village. He says the remaining are contacts of known cases that were seen in screening clinics and were swabbed and cases under investigation to determine possible sources of transmission. Dr. Fong says there have been 70 new recoveries reported since the last update, which means that there are now 2,813 active cases in isolation. The national seven-day average daily test positivity now stands at 7.4% and continues on an upward trend. This is way above the World Health Organization's 5% threshold, which means the outbreak is now out of control. Health Ministry's Permanent Secretary Dr. James Fong says the national seven-day test average is 2,948 tests per day and health officials have managed to screen 664 individuals and swabbed 63 people in the last 24 hours. He adds the seven-day average of new cases per day has increased to 234 cases and our daily testing numbers have remained at a high level. Dr. Fong says data collected shows widespread community transmission continues in the Lami Suvanosori containment zone. A total of 147,961 samples have been tested since April this year, with 210,336 screened and 27,319 people being swabbed. Businesses are hoping for a national budget similar to that of the current one, as many are still reeling from the effects of closure due to the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. In their budget submission, the Suva Retailers Association requested for the tariffs in this year's budget to be continued in the 2021-2022 national budget that will be announced next month. Association President Jitesh Patel says the tariffs in the current national budget helped cushion the blow businesses took during the first wave of COVID-19 and they hope this will be considered in the next budget. The 2021-2022 national budget is scheduled to be announced on July 16th at 7.30 p.m. Like we want a continuation of policies and uh, like it's very important that we pass on the savings to the consumers as well. Um, as we know that there is a lot of unemployment and uh, we understand the government is doing this their part by giving out this $50 incentives uh, to $220 from the FNPF and all those things to keep the economy moving. And we also are looking at uh, more locally produced products to be, you know, um, come into the market so we can create employment. Small island developing states, including Fiji, are subject to unfair trading. Fiji is concerned at the inequality that is excavated by the World Trade Organization's new subsidies agreement. Minister for Trade has called on the need to reduce inequality in the global trading platform where Fiji and the Pacific are minor players. As unfair trading amidst the pandemic will create more challenges to an economy that is already on its knees. Madam Chair, we are in danger of further fueling unfair competition between subsidized fishers from large industrial fishing nations and the small island, uh, small developing countries trying to develop their own fishing industries and worsening the inequality that already exists. The Fijian Competition and Consumer Commission has conducted a total of 4,916 4, inspections across the central, western and northern divisions 
since April 20th. Since the implementation of COVID safe business operations protocols by the Ministry of Commerce, Trade, and Tourism, and Transport, teams from FCCC have been on the ground inspecting businesses for compliance to these protocols. A total of 1,336 businesses across the central, western, and northern divisions have been surveyed since 4th June. And to our latest COVID-19 update. There were 262 new cases in the 24-hour period ending 8 a.m. yesterday. The Central Division once again has the majority of the new infections. Fiji has recorded 3,521 cases since April. There are now 2,813 active cases in isolation with 753 recoveries in total. The COVID-19 death toll still stands at 15. Up ahead, Baber impressed. And defending champions, Portugal out. Stay with us. Welcome back. After a stunning performance displayed at the Oceania Sevens over the weekend, head coach Gareth Weber has mentioned a few of his favorite picks who just may be named for the Tokyo Olympics next month. Portugal's chances of retaining their Euro 2020 title has been shattered after, a, after suffering a narrow 1-0 loss against Belgium. Belgium held the former champions 1-0 at halftime, showcasing a strong defense from their side, not giving a chance to Portugal. It was Thorgan Hazard who made the lone goal of the match, dipping a shot into the far side of the net past Rui Patricio in the 42nd minute. It's the Czech Republic versus Denmark on Saturday in Baku for a place in the Euro 2020 semi-finals. This after Czech handed a shock, shocking 2-0 loss to Netherlands in round of 16 this morning. Onto the weather, a high-pressure system to the southeast of Fiji directs fresh to strong southeast wind flow over the country. That's FBC's News Now. Join us for our one-hour major bulletin at 7 p.m. And be sure to download the FBC app to access the latest in news, sports and live radio broadcasts from any of our six FBC radio stations. Stay safe and good afternoon.